<laughs> oh man, I, uh, I I find that you know like being gay and uh, touring this country and the, in the states all the time and talking about it. People ask me these personal questions all the time. They always want to know like how did I know or when did I know that I was gay? And the comedian in me always wants to give them some smart ass reply, right? Like I'm pretty sure I knew last night when I was porking your dad. <laughs> But my mother said that was an inappropriate answer to grandma's question. <laughs> so, so now I just tell people I went to Catholic school. Uh, oh, some groans over there. Fuck you two. <laughs> if you don't like that, there's the door, motherfucker. <laughs> don't worry, after the show, everyone will get a free hug. <laughs> you, son, I'm gonna hug a little longer. <laughs> I've never been hugged from behind before. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, the reason I told you guys that the, the last joke was because uh, uh, someone actually uh, sent a complaint letter to a comedy club about me and that joke, and I just happened to have it in my back pocket, and uh, I'm gonna read it to you because I think it's hilarious. But uh, I, I changed the name of the comedy club because I don't want to get sued or anything, So, but if you pay attention, you might be able to figure it out. Dear Chuck Chucks. <laughs> you guys are good. <laughs> we recently took in one of your shows, and my question is, why do these routines have to start well, only to deteriorate into the coarsest, rudest routines focusing on penises and vaginas? <laughs> Darcy Michael, that's me, was so offensive that he only appealed to the lowest common denominator in the crowd. That's you. <laughs> example. This is the best. It has been four days and I am still truly disgusted. <laughs> like she sat there for four days going, that is disgusting. <laughs> Regards, Martha Morrison. First of all, she signed her full name, so the first thing I did was look the bitch up on Facebook, right? <laughs> I can write a letter to Martha, you know? But she wasn't on there with a name like Martha Morrison. She's probably 90, right? So she's probably still on MySpace, so whatever. <laughs> The only thing that makes me feel good about this letter is I realize a little piece of Martha probably died just typing porking his dad, and that warms my heart, right? That takes me to my happy place. <laughs> Wait, but you guys heard the joke, you know, like technically I'm talking about porking my grandmother's father, right? That's my great grandfather. I'm not gonna pork my dad, Martha, that's fucking gross. <laughs>